Yeah, Derek, I mean, look at just how crazy this is. You come home after being evacuated in your house is just pink. The entire home here off of Rio Verde and 141st Street, it's covered in pink from the fire retardant. And these were homeowners that were evacuated that are happy to be home tonight. As far as the fire, some good news tonight, it's now 30% contained and there was no movement. So essentially the fire stayed in its place today. Now air support was not needed. It was all fire personnel on the ground, though the fire service says those tankers are ready if the weather changes. Some firefighters and shot hot shots have also been able to go home tonight at the height of the fire. There were around 300 fire personnel tonight. That's down to 175. So we caught up with one homeowner in the area who has lived here for 18 years. He had the flames come up to the back fence of his property and of course his house pink from the retardant. He says it was scary, but he credits the firefighters for keeping him and his family safe. It was it was uh, uh, a little bit of a shock driving up and seeing it all pink. But again, we live, we live out here and we know there's, there's, there's a risk for this. So we figured this would probably happen someday and we're prepared for it. So it was, it was uh, eye opening, but not shocking until I got up here on the rooftop deck. And that's when there were just puddles of slurry on the flat roof here. Pretty. Pretty crazy for sure, something uh, you don't see too often. The Forest Service says no homes or primary buildings have been damaged. Good news too, no firefighters have been injured. Now, of course, those evacuations did let up. There will be some engines patrolling the area here around the fire and around these neighborhoods as well. The goal with those engines is really to just have them check in on any hot spots and make sure that the fire doesn't kind of spark up in any of these other areas. Guys, we'll send it back to you.